Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank our all of our witnesses who are here today on, on both panels. As I noted yesterday, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that smoking is dangerous and linked to approximately 480,000 preventable deaths in America each year. But these deaths are only preventable if individuals stop smoking. The research suggests that electronic cigarettes such as Juul are 95% less harmful than tobacco cigarettes. The focus on our hearing today is on one manufacturer of electronic cigarettes, Juul. What concerns me about this hearing is, once again, this committee is using its oversight authority to bring in another private company and question them about their business. While this is certainly an important topic because of the legislation pending in Congress, I would like to emphasize again that I hope this subcommittee will refocus its efforts on providing oversight of government. We are the government oversight committee, not the private <coughs> business oversight committee. This hearing has been an interesting experience, a senator testifying spreading out over two days in numerous panels. We are here today at a hearing entitled Examining Jewel's Role in the Youth Nicotine Epidemic. I'm interested to hear from Jewel about the topic of this hearing and, and hope this discussion will be respectful and seek facts to inform public policy decisions. Just a few years ago, the company was started in a Stanford dorm room and it's grown to be valued at over $30 billion and represent approximately 70% of the electronic cigarette market. Juul has insisted that its product was never designed for youth usage and will have the opportunity to present their case here today on steps they have taken to protect against youth usage. The potential for harm reduction suggests that products such as Juul should be considered as a component of cessation. There is a growing consensus in the scientific community that electronic cigarettes are significantly less harmful than traditional tobacco products. Though the FDA has not yet determined that e-cigarettes are effective for this purpose, other studies have found that e-cigarette use was associated with nearly twice the rate of successful smoking cessation than other nicotine replacement therapies. Let's, let's be clear about one thing. No one wants kids to use tobacco. No one wants kids vaping. Let me repeat that. No one wants kids using tobacco and no one wants kids vaping. And no one wants vaping companies to target children with advertisements. Juul needs to recognize this and it has an important role to play in ensuring all possible steps are taken to deter new smokers. I'm sure we will hear more from Juul about their efforts and testimony and questions to follow. If Congress moves ahead with pursuing additional regulations for these products, we should know the effects on positive public health alternatives. Prematurely overregulating companies such as Yule could have a disastrous effect that impedes access to one of the most successful products for smoking cessation. I look forward to the discussion this afternoon. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Mr. Chairman, 